Hi everyone, and welcome to my mini tutorial for my Calligram Creator Procreate Toolkit. We'll recreate this artwork and I'll show you how to do it step by step. But before we begin, make sure to download the free mini toolkit from the link below so you can follow along. This is a sample pack from my Calligram Creator Toolkit, which includes 7 brushes and a metallic color palette. Here's how to install them in Procreate. First, unzip the downloaded file, open Procreate and go to the brush menu. From the brush library, pull down the brush names and then the import tab will appear. Tap it and then locate the folder where you save the brushes. Select the brush kit file and they'll appear at the bottom of the brush library. To install the color palette, tap the color tab then switch to the Palettes tab. Tap the plus sign, then navigate to the folder with the saved palette file. Once selected, the metallic palette will be added and ready for use. Let's begin. Create a canvas with 3000 by 3000 pixels and uh, with uh, 300 dpi. And we'll change the background color to black. And go to the brush library and choose the circle grid and then change the color to white then adjust the brush size then make sure you're on layer one and then let's resize it and then click fit to canvas Now, let's rename this layer to Grid. And uh, let's lower the opacity down just a little bit. Now, let's set up the drawing guide. Go to the Actions menu and go to Canvas. Click the drawing guide to turn it on and then edit drawing guide. Go to the symmetry section on the lower right and then click option, quadrant and let's change the color of the grid to white. Okay, click done. Then create a new layer and name this as Sketch. Let's enable the Drawing Assist. Next, choose the pencil brush for sketching. We'll create our sketch in this first quadrant. Notice how it automatically mirrors across the other quadrants as we draw. Let's start by sketching some flourishes. And some swirls. Keeping everything within this height. Once you fill the quadrant with lines, lower the opacity of this layer. Now, create a new layer and enable Drawing Assist. And rename this layer to Draft. Now, 
next let's choose a new brush under the combo brushes let's select the stone flat brush make sure you're on the draft layer let's now trace your sketch lines and swirls using the flat brush You can rotate the canvas for smoother strokes that align with the brush angle. Experiment with different angles by rotating the canvas and add strokes as needed to balance your draft. Now, choose the stone pointed brush under the combo brushes to add flourishes and accents. Start with the tips of the flat brush strokes for a pointed finish, then add more strokes branching out from the stems. Draw a diamond accent and add more flourishes to fill the spaces. Remember, this is just a draft, so feel free to experiment with loops and pointed strokes. I'm going to add a few more diamond accents here using the flat brush. Then, we'll add additional strokes to fill any remaining gaps.
Once you're happy with the draft, let's proceed. Create a new layer and rename it Final. Hide the sketch layer and lower the grid opacity. Also, reduce the opacity of the draft layer. Switch to the stone flat brush and make sure you're on the final layer. Enable the drawing assist. Carefully trace the draft sketches with precise strokes. After you're done tracing them, select a stone pointed brush to trace the flourishes and accents. Zoom out and review your full artwork. If you're satisfied with how it looks, we'll move on to the next step. Duplicate the final layer so we'll have three copies of this layer. Group the draft, sketch, and grid layers together and rename the group to sketch. Next, resize the second layer to fit the canvas. Let's rename this to Big. Let's rename the first layer to Medium. And the third layer to Small. Now, let's resize the small layer and ensure the snapping is on to center it correctly. The orange grid indicates the layer is perfectly centered. Now, add two new layers, one above the big layer and one above the small layer. And rename them Shadow. Enable the Drawing Assist and set both to Clipping Mask.
choose a black color and from the brush menu, select the shadow splatter brush. On the shadow layer above the big layer, gently brush along the inner edges to create a shadow effect. On the shadow layer above the small layer, repeat the shadow effect, adjusting pressure for the desired intensity. Next, let's add some gold metallic flourishes for a refined touch. Create a new layer above the medium layer and rename it Flourish. Select the yellow ochre color from the metallic palette. Then choose the sparkle dust pointed brush from the metallic brushes. Turn on Drawing Assist and move the flourish layer below the first layer. Create your gold flourishes around the design. It adds depth and character to the artwork. Once you're okay with it, Turn off the sketch group and reduce the opacity of the small layer. I want to add more depth, so let's duplicate the small layer together with its shadow. Then Resize it to a smaller size and center it to the canvas. Let's set the opacity to 100% while adjusting the opacity of the other layers for a more visible depth effect. Finally, let's add some texture. Create a new layer. Choose a white color. Under the texture brushes, select the texture board brush. Apply it across the canvas. Now, duplicate the texture layer for a stronger effect. Then merge them and rename it Texture. Duplicate the texture layer and move it to the bottom. Now create a new layer above the texture. Choose the shadow brush with black color. Don't forget to turn on the Drawing Assist and rename this layer to Shadow and add some shadow effects. Adjust the opacity of the layers as needed. Invert the top texture layer to black. Zoom in to check the texture, shadow, and overall artwork. That's it! You've just created a simple circular calligram using the Calligram Creator Procreate Toolkit. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and feel inspired to create your own version. Feel free to comment below if you'd like me to cover something different in the next tutorial.